we finally hit the milestone of 10 episodes, double digits, and to celebrate, we have some massive mods on the docket today. We're going to begin with one of three mods brought to us by the talented team at AGS over the past couple of weeks. They bring to us the Lone Wolf, Baron Corbin, an NXT superstar of few words and perhaps really even fewer moves. The intricate detailing of this mod is the highlight of this project. We have nice high res textures for all of his tattoos, as well as his attire and face, and it comes with the Titantron. So if you've been frustrated with the lack of NXT superstars and the limitations of the creation suite, now alongside Finn Balor and some of the other mods featured here today, AGS is doing one hell of a job in bolstering that NXT roster in bringing to 2K15 that NXT experience that all of us wanted from the jump. And AGS further adds to the depth of NXT. They bring to you a man who stands seven feet tall, and you can't teach that. A man who likes to spell out SWAFT soft. Big Kaz, one half of the tag team of Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy. Now, I want to apologize to AGS. I can't present the Big Kaz in all its glory. I've unfortunately encountered the game-breaking bug that a lot of us are suffering through at this juncture where I can no longer save anything I do in the game. So, despite the fact that I created custom entrances for all the superstar mods featured in this video, none of them saved. Every mod this episode, their entrance is going to look a little wonky because I can't change it from the superstar they replaced. And I replaced Retro Kane with Big Kaz. So Big Kaz is coming out to Retro Kane's entrance. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm going to have to completely wipe all my save data from 2K and re-download the game, which is not something I'm looking forward to. And now for this week's big showcase mod of the week. You remember a few weeks ago, I featured the Bleeding Red and Lord Justice's Attitude Era and Beyond Total Overhaul Mod Project. Well, this week, Skino brings to us the mod that I've personally been waiting on longer than any other. And that's his Then, Now, and Forever mod, which updates every arena in the game to what they are now in their 2015 incarnation. In a similar fashion to the previously featured mod by Sinclair Ashton, which added LED aprons to all the arenas, Skino has gone in and painstakingly constructed LED aprons to, to perfectly match and replicate those seen on your WWE programming week in and week out. Not only has he corrected the look of the aprons, he's also added in a handful of brand new arenas, including, as just shown, King of the Ring 2015, WrestleMania 31, WrestleMania 32, Fastlane, as well as Tribute to the Troops. Not only does this mod fix the aprons and add in custom arenas, it also updates various in-game images, correcting the title belts on screen with their proper WWE logos, as well as adding updated logos for your universe calendar. AGS rounds out the NXT ranks with Bada Boom, realest guy in the room. A man who's a certified G and a bona fide stud. How you doing? Enzo Amore. This Enzo Amore mod is a godsend to all NXT fans out there as Enzo, with his ridiculous hairstyle and multiple tattoos, is an impossible superstar to replicate in the hamstrung and limited creation suite. This mod comes with two attire variants, so if you've ever wanted to be connected like 4G, how you doing? Now you can play as Big Kaz and Enzo Amore, the man with perhaps the best mic skills in the entire WWE Universe. Now you can, thanks to AGS. 
since I couldn't really highlight Enzo More properly in his entrance given the glitch that I'm experiencing with the WWE 2K15 game, I wanted to kind of show him in the ring to highlight just how good this mod looks overall and in action, and also to give you another look at Skino's Then Now and Forever mod with a quick look at his overhaul of the SmackDown Arena. A man who's shown up already in past episodes of 2K Modding Weekly, but who keeps appearing due to subtle changes in his appearance and gimmick. And that is Rusev. And now we have yet another update to Rusev. When we first got the game, we had to update Rusev to be the hero of the Russian Federation. Then Possum, through memory editing, figured out a way to remove Lana from his side during his entrance. Then, he split from Lana and was back to being Bulgarian. Then he got hurt, grew out his hair, now he has long hair and wears wrestling boots. And thanks to Legrand Cesar, we finally have an update to the newest variation of everyone's favorite Bulgarian brute with the base mod done by PH Guy, who is absent from the modding community for a while as he's doing his service to his country. But with this combo mod, we now have Rusev updated to his current gimmick. Now we just need a mod to throw Summer Rae in a suit and inject her into Lana's entrance slot. Throughout the months of 2K Modding Weekly, I've been a big fan of the work done by Bannockburn. But he went away for a while after some nonsense on the message boards, but he has returned triumphantly with several new mods, including an update to my personal favorite WWE superstar, the Swiss Superman, Cesaro. So if you find yourself in the Cesaro section, and you want an update to his model that goes beyond what can be found on Community Creations, I highly recommend checking this out. It's not just a base mod, it also adds in entrance attire. This is probably the most complete update you're going to get for Cesaro, so check it out alongside the rest of Bannockburn's mod collection and start laying in European uppercuts like you're too Swiss. If you noticed as Rusev and Cesaro made their way to the ring, this is a complete arena overhaul mod that's part of Skino's Then Now and Forever collection. Skino's WrestleMania 31 mod isn't just an apron replacer, he went above and beyond the Call of Duty, completely constructing the WrestleMania 31 play button stage, as well as all of the pillars that surround the ring, to recreate a broadcast accurate depiction of the WrestleMania 31 venue. No update overhaul mod would be complete without the belt pack, without the championships mod provided to us by Furby over on Smack Talks. This is a three-part mod that contains updates for, as you see on screen, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship belt, as well as the Intercontinental Championship and the United States Championship, replacing the old outdated WWE logo with the new, with the new WWE Network-inspired Scratch logo used for the product throughout all of 2015. And we close out episode 10 with Sahaili's huge sound file collection mod for modded characters. This sound file adds in updated music for guys like Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, as well as all the added in mods such as Finn Balor, Samoa Joe, Goldberg, Scott Steiner, Sabu, and all the way down the list. Also, it comes with a string file variant, which changes the in-game names of the song files, which makes them a hell of a lot easier to find when updating entrances. But you should note that if you intend to use Skino's Then Now and Forever Overhaul mod, that also requires a modified string file. So if you want to use the string file variation of this music mod, my suggestion would be to install that, do all of your edits for entrances, then install Skino's mod with his string file after you have all your entrances in place. That's it for week 10 of 2K Modi Weekly. Thanks for watching. And just a quick programming note for the upcoming week. As you might have been able to tell by this episode, whatever the hell sickness I have right now is not getting any better. It's actually getting worse. So I will not be able to do a full 42 minute long Concast podcast on Monday. 
That will return once I can speak for longer than 10 minutes without going hoarse or coughing my lungs up. Everything else, though, should proceed according to plan. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Have a great week.